Uh, Cody Rhodes. Now, there's a couple questions here. Uh, you have some information about his entrance. I'm worried that you're going to tell me this is the entrance for WrestleMania, and I don't want him at WrestleMania. He's at WrestleMania, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's, Come, he's, show up the next day, damn it. And you know what? This Rollins going, I have nobody to wrestle, and he's all angry. Didn't almost just say anybody who has the balls, I'll wrestle you at WrestleMania. There you go. Go ahead. Well, go. Omos looks like he's facing Bobby Lashley. And okay. that that is uh, – see, people turn around and they're like, oh, I thought this was going to happen and that was going to happen. It's like, well, you know, they've come full circles exactly what I said. Now, this was supposed to be at one point what they were looking at for the championship match on the show when they were going to go with the two titles. Um, but now, obviously, it's not. But they still had the match in mind. Mm -hmm. And Lashley now is able to come back and do it. I mean, almost his other match, other the other thing they had in mind for him was just to go and fight against um, Commander Aziz. But when they blew that up, when they blew that yeah. up on television, it was obvious they were getting a new opponent, which looks like it's going to be Lashley. As for Seth Rollins, uh, Seth Rollins has been tied in with Cody for a while. Yeah. Um, the only issue with that was is that who goes who goes over? Uh, can Rollins take these losses if he's going to be feuding with Roman at some point in the future? I think they've decided that they'll probably distance. Rollins from uh, from Reigns for a while until this is pretty much, um, you know, distant memory. And in this current climate with the amount of television you have, I think four or five weeks after beating Cody, after losing to Cody Rhodes, Rollins is fresh again anyway. I mean, and the build up to this is because he's just been losing to everybody trying to get on the WrestleMania cards. So I don't think one more loss is going to hurt him, but that's the plan. Uh, mm. Cody, Cody Seth, Cody wins. Does and, this uh, announce before Mania, or is he going to go to Mania going, I'm not leaving until I have a match, and then boom? Well, it's it's on a list of things. I didn't actually ask, actually, to be honest with you, but it's on a list of matches that I got and posted on my Patreon over a week ago. Um, and um, oh, I'll actually go to this Vince McMahon story next because it, it connects to this as I'm talking okay. about my Patreon anyway. But, yeah, just, just to let you know that Cody Rhodes – is expected to have a Triple H like entrance, like a big deal entrance for Cody. And they're going to be keeping a lot of the AEW stuff where it's not going to be a case of um, they're going to change his name and change his yeah. look and change a lot of the stuff he does. Like a lot, it's going to be kind of like, hey, we took this guy from AEW. It's going to, is he going to be the American Nightmare still? Do you know? Uh, I, I don't know the specifics. All I know is that the changes are like minimalistic. Okay. Um, so talking about this, when this was on my Patreon, this Cody Seth story, um, uh, back in March the 13th, and it was under the story of Patreon exclusive, bizarre McMahonism reveals WrestleMania plans. Now, did I ever post this in the group chat? I don't know. I don't go to the group chat, as uh, you know. <laughs> all right, I haven't check the group chat in ages. You'll laugh. You'll laugh about this. You'll okay. you'll laugh about this because you're. I know you like this. Um, you find this stuff funny. So, a weird McMahonism was noticed in a WrestleMania update document that went out to various WWE staffers, such as the marketing department. <clears throat> in the document, McMahon outlined that the WWE have now announced all of their headline matches for WrestleMania. And the main focus in the final weeks would be to get as many deserving superstars on the card as possible, along with developing the personality of the key matches already announced. A source explained that what we call the build-up and storyline of the match, Vince McMahon calls the personality. Wow. And this, this is it, and this God. and that this information PDF was not the first time he'd seen the term used. Um so as things stand, according to various sources, the current plan for WrestleMania 38 was, and this is the information at the time, it was Logan Paul Miz versus Mysterios, Drew versus Corbin, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs versus the Usos, Balor versus Priest, Rollins versus Cody, Bianca versus Becky. Kevin Owens show and Rousey versus Flair. That's supposed to be night one. Night two is New Day versus Sheamus, Ridge Holland and Butch, which is cancelled because yeah. uh, of the, the injuries. Uh, Omos versus Commander Aziz, which is now Omos Lashley. 
McAfee Theory, Knoxville versus Sami Zayn, uh, Edge, AJ, um, Liv Morgan, Rhea Ripley versus Naomi versus Sasha versus Queen Zelina Jeez. and Carmella versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler. And uh, now I think it's going to be versus the, the Scottish sisters, the Scottish fatties. Um, RK Bro versus Street Profits versus Alpha, Alpha Academy. And it also says versus TBC. And um, then a unification match between Edge and Brock. Uh, between Brock and Reigns, sorry. Hmm. But yeah, that. What do you think of that? Like the per- this is like hospital. It's not, this it's is not the medical facility. Cat. We must never call it the build up again. <laughs> it's the, the personality. personality of the match. <laughs> the match has to have a personality to it. A little fee. I wonder when this started because he, this is new. How does he no, change his like, way no, after no, seventy no, no, years? This is old. This is this is like twenty, thirty years old. Oh, and just, really? And I'm the first person to say it. Wow. It, like it has never gotten out that he has said this is personality Dude, of a man. When I said this on the K- K100 show, Disco and Shonen were like, oh, that's so great. That makes so much sense. And Disco's like, because it is the personality of the match. Disco was like, because it is. That's exactly, that's a great way of explaining. I was like, dude, that's not the point. The point is, is that this company has existed forever. This yeah. is the 38th WrestleMania. And this is the first time we've ever heard the Vincent Man calls the build-up. <laughs> <laughs> per- the personality of the match like how is and it's not really about whether you think that's that it makes sense or not it's like how crazy is that it's just weird to even come up with that name for that yeah he, 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 in an actual document to the wwe guys he turned around and found, said we are now focusing on working on the personality of these matches oh wow and it- uh, <laughs> so um going back to that cody thing for a second my my thought is I don't want Cody showing up beforehand on Raw, at least. Like, I, I don't want this match at all. I, I'd rather him show up on uh, Monday uh, after Mania for a big thing. And um, I, I'm i thinking that Seth comes out to even start Mania the first day and says, I'm not allowing Mania to even go on until I'm having a match on Mania. Which is so funny because, I mean, it's, it's so stupid because anyone who interferes gets into mania so i was like just interfere with brock and roman you'll get a title match go ahead who cares this is this is how they get in sonya goes i like your your guts you guys yeah, are I, in the title match it's like what is i think this? they should do that i think they should turn around and do that i think that's how mania should start like the match the first match doesn't start rollins is there hijacking wrestlemania yep. and, and he, yeah, i'm not leaving yeah. instead i feel like they're probably going to do that on raw instead I think he's going to be like, there's no, there's going to be no Monday Night Raw, and mm. then Cody's going to be there just to sell some tickets because for the one week, t- or, yeah. the WrestleMania tickets are not good. The sales are, are are not strong. They still haven't sold out the minimum con- the minimum configuration for any night. The it's, minimum it's, hasn't been sold. Well, the minimum, well, the minimum is what is what they basically they have building plans for sixty thousand, seventy thousand, eight. What you know, what 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 they're going to put there, whether it be signage extra TVs because they can make it look like, Hey, we didn't want people to sit there. Yeah. They can put those TV screens we, from yeah. up in the top row. Sure. Yeah. Because we wanted this TV or we wanted this back. Like, they can that they actually can, look pretty cool. If they did that, like the whole upper deck in by the camera side, all those TVs and you could have the logos and all that kind of stuff on them. That'd be interesting. So there is a lot of like freebies being chucked around at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, they need to get to sixty thousand on each night to have the minimum configuration of the stadium. Um, that I mean, almost there for for night two. But between night two and night one, there's like there's only there's only three four thousand difference. It's not it's mm-hmm. not a big deal. Um, one thing you will see the night after WrestleMania is going to be Gabe Stevenson. I think that's going to be the night that he debuts. He's going to completely miss NXT and he's going to move over to Monday Night Raw. You know. Here was a uh, a horrible theory I had with <laughs> just because this is what they do and make no rhyme or reason. Veer is doing this. I'm coming for since October, right? And I say finally, like they've gone sour on him, and they go, maybe this is a bad idea. How do we get out of this? He makes his debut, and I was like, Cody's his opponent, and just beats him in a second. You never see him again. Or Gabe, Gabe Stevenson. Beats now him. that's what I'm thinking. I go, Gabe will show up, <laughs> just beat Veer, and be done with him. Right. Oh, God.